Okay, so we had a question on page 210, number 72. Find two positive real numbers whose product is a maximum. And then 72 said that also their sum is s. So the first thing to do is, is set up some variables for the problem. So if I need two positive real numbers and their sum is s, I can say x plus y equals s. That's the first thing I do to get started. Um, but then their product is a maximum, so I have to deal with what their product is. So the product of those two numbers, what would it look like? Well, let's say some product, p of x, of two numbers, the numbers are x and y, so the product would be x times y, or just xy, right? Now, <clears throat> If I don't want to use um, both x and y as variables, because we also have a third variable, s, what I can do is I can solve y for y in terms of s, and then substitute in here for that y. So y is s minus x. Do you agree with that? Right. So now, just doing a replacement here, so p of x instead of x times y, it's x times s minus x. All right? Now, multiply that out, and what do I get? sx minus x squared, right? Um, now I'm going to rearrange that, so I'm going to rewrite it as minus x squared, because I like the highest power first, plus sx. And then at this point, I need to figure out how can I factor this to find the maximum because the maximum is the point in the vertex, the ordered pair of the vertex. And then in that ordered pair, um, the second point of that ordered pair is the value of the maximum. So, um, so I really need to set this up so that I can find out what that would be. So any thoughts? Think about it for a second. Okay, enough thinking. So I need to set this up so that I can complete the square and get it um, in a parenthesis so that I can get the vertex off of it, correct? So first thing I'm going to do is factor out a minus. So I'll call it x squared minus sx plus some space. I have to figure out the number that goes there, right? So how do I figure out what goes there? I take this middle term, it's negative s, divide it by 2, and square it, right? So that becomes s squared over 4. So let me um, write it over here so we can uh, figure that out a little better. So now I have some p of x equals, I've got a minus sign here, so I'm going to put x squared minus sx plus s squared over 4, right? Now, I can't just add something to a problem, so I have to also compensate it. Well, this minus means I'm adding a minus s squared over 4, so I'm also going to do a plus s squared over 4. So if I add something and subtract the same thing, and remember, this is the minus one, so this is the plus. So plus and minus of the same thing. I really haven't changed the value. I've just made it look different, right? Now, the reason I did this was so I could factor it, correct? So now, this factors into x minus s over 2 squared, right? I still have plus s squared over 4. You with me there? And now, um, the question is, the maximum value of the product, right, what is it? Any thoughts on what I should do next? All right, so the vertex, right, is hk. There's the h, there's the k. So it's s over 2, comma, s squared over 4. There I have the vertex. Now the question says, find, um, find the maximum value. What is the maximum value? 
right here, s squared over 4. All right, there we go for that problem. All right, next question. <clears throat> they give you a rectangle of length x and perimeter p. Find the domain, area, length, and width of the rectangle. So, if you think about the rectangle and using x and y as the sides, here we have a little rectangle, right? They said length is x. So here's our x. We'll call this the y. The big clue, perimeter is 100. So the equation would be 2x plus 2y equals 100. You with me on that? Now I could solve that for y. y equals 50 minus x, right? So um, now when I look at that, let's, let's try and set up an equation for area. So what is the area equal? Well, we know normally it's length times width, so in this case it's x times y, right? And using um, y in terms of x, right, or x in terms of y, we can go x, y, but in place of y now we're going to do 50 minus x. You with me so far? And um, there's an equation for the area. Now, in terms of um, the x values, we can't have a zero for the area, and so the smallest x could be, right, would be zero, but I can't really have a length of zero. So x is some number between zero and 50. Correct? Does that make sense? All right. And then, uh, what else did we have to find here? Um, the maximum? Right? So what do we do next? What do you think? So basically to finish this problem, what you need to do is you're solving P of X equals, I'm going to multiply that out, 50X minus X squared. We want to rewrite it as minus X squared plus 50X. And then factor out a negative, so that's positive. And do complete the square. And when you do complete the square, you'll be able to get the vertex. All right? And the value of the vertex, right, is the maximum. And hopefully, you'll come up with, I'm going to let you do this yourself, 625 for the value, and this should be 25. So I'll finish this by doing complete the square, and hopefully you can get those answers. Good luck. There's a shot of the full screen. Sorry, I cut that off.